Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add text in Camtasia. Alright, so we're here in Camtasia and we are going to play around with the text, add it in, and just show you a bunch of different stuff that you can do with it. So first thing is from the media area, you want to head over to annotations and you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff like this. And if you click on style right now, it's on basic. It's got a whole bunch of other types of mixture of shapes and text. So if you go to all, you'll see all the different kinds. And I generally stick to the basic and I usually play around with either this kind of text, this kind of text, or this kind of text. Sometimes this one. So first thing here is if you want just plain text, then you can choose this one or this one. They're both pretty much the same, it's just one's bigger than the other. So if I drag down this one, and then I'll drag down this one to show you, and then I'll move it. They're basically the same, just they kind of just start you off with one smaller or one bigger. So let's just leave the bigger one. And to edit it, you want to double click on it until you have it highlighted. And then you can go, hi, my name is Jewel. So you see how it just shrunk itself? If you want it to be more spread out, like let's say on one line, then you would just stretch this out. But then the font got so big, so you don't want it, if you don't want it that big, then you can make it smaller. So when I stretched it out to make it on one line, it got, it got bigger. But maybe I don't want it to be that big. So I would head over to the right hand side under the callout section, and these are some things that you can do to play around with the font. So I'm going to make it smaller, just like that. Or you can make it really big. And I think the maximum is size 500. So that's pretty huge. So let's just say I'll leave it right here. Now, some other things that you can do are you can change the color. Now, you need to highlight it, double click on it, and then let's say you want to change the color and you can change the color to let's see purple purple is my favorite color but more of a blue purple uh, maybe over here like an indigo type purple there right you can also use an exact hex code if you need to, if you know it, or you can change it to the R RGB. A lot of people, it's either the hex code or people know their RGB numbers, but if you don't know any of that, that's fine. You can literally just scroll up and down trying to find your color and just, you know, moving this around to find your color. You can also use the eyedropper and this, wherever this touches, it will get the exact color. So it, this is the exact gray. It will get this color over here, this like orangey red color, maybe like coral color. It'll get that. So that's another way to get an exact color as well. So maybe let's leave it to that because I kind of like that color. You can also change the font. Now it's usually default on this font, but you can change that. So let's say I want it to be this kind of a font. And you can also go regular, regular italics, bold. Not all fonts have these features, so just be aware of that. Even though you can choose that option, if that font doesn't come with that, then it's not going to do it. So this font doesn't have all that stuff, so it's not going to do any of this stuff. So you'll just have to play around with that. And you can also play around with the alignment, so you can move things to being aligned on the left-hand side. Center is where it's usually at, and then there's the right-hand side. You can also, if you want to move it up to the top, it's also usually default to the center, or down here at the bottom. Over here on this tab, 
are some other features. Now, it does come with a drop shadow and you won't see it. Right now you're not going to see it because I've got a black background so you're not going to see the shadow. But let's, and let me show you if I were to have a white background. And I'll just make this bigger here. Let's say I had a white background. You'll see that there is a shadow. There is a shadow behind the letters. And if you don't want that, you can remove it. So, but first let's play around with the shadow before we go and delete the shadow. So right now the shadow is at an angle where it's on the bottom right. But if you click on this, then it's more in the center. Or if you want it more on the left, on the side, up top left. So you can move it all around. You can also play around with how the sh like how thick the shadow is. So if you move this, first it's gonna like look how far I made that shadow go. It's like separate, and you can make it more bolder, like stronger, and you can make it more blurry or less blurry to the point where it's actually another set of text. So you can make it like a little blurry like that. And, you know, if you make a mistake and you're like, oh no, what were the original settings? Just click on this part right here and it will set it to its original state and it will go back to normal. Now, if you don't want a shadow at all and you just want it just plain text right on the white, which I do like sometimes, I don't like a shadow all the time. It depends on the kind of look that I'm going for. You just click X and then it removes the shadow altogether and as you can see, you don't have a shadow at all. So it does give a different look and if you want it back and you're like, oh no, I made a mistake, just click Control Z and that will revert back to your latest uh, chain, your latest action that you did. If you scroll, that was the shadow portion, but if you scroll back up here, uh, you'll have some more options. So if I go to opacity, I can make this a little more see-through and a little more ghost-like. So if you want that kind of a look. And the scale is also a way of enlarging the font as well. And it's pretty much making the font size bigger because if you head over back to the text properties, you'll see that the font size has gotten larger. So it's pretty much the same type of thing. And this rotation will allow you to rotate your letters in different ways. So if you click on this and you rotate it, then it's going to, if you want to do something silly like that, let's revert it back. And then if you rotate this way, then it looks like, you know, it's doing like a, like it's more of a 3D effect happening. Then you can revert back. And then this one is the opposite direction. So it looks like it's rolling around, which is kind of cool. Now if you add animations to that, that'll also look really cool. So that is the text section. That is for the basic text, and it's pretty much the same for the text with shapes. It just comes with a shape. So I'll just drag this one down here, and then it's just the shape as well. Now you have also text inside of the shape, and then you can size, resize the shape accordingly, however you'd like. And then you can do the same things. You can change the font, make the size bigger, uh, align it. But you'll also have another set of properties here for the shape. Now if you click over here, you can change the color of the shape. And let's say I want it to be blue. And it also has an outline, so let's say I want that to also be blue. And if you want like a blue gradient, you can also have something like that. Or you can keep it to solid, that's fine too. 
So it's also pretty much the same thing. It just has another added bonus feature of the shape as well. So that is how you add text in Camtasia and that's how you play around with it as well. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free Camtasia tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.